All right, I think I am live. If you can see me and hear me, I know that there's always some delay. Today I'm trying out StreamYard because um, the other one didn't make sense to me. <laughs> but uh, so just once it comes through, I guess, let me know. Uh, but until then, um, today we're going to do a high proof blind flight. So this is my second ever live stream. So figured it might be fun to do a nice little higher proof stream. So uh, I'm reading some of the chat and kind of catching up. Okay, thanks so much Teek, Teach for uh, letting me know and Steve A, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. So it sounds good. Y'all can hear me. Let me know if I need to talk louder. I'm trying to figure this all out, but whatever. Um, most of y'all know if you've ever seen any of my actual videos, normally I'm outside, not in my apartment. So I don't really have a setup for being at home. But uh, yep. So today, so before I start, Nick just poured my blind flight um, just before this started. So letting it air out just a couple minutes here. Um, but before I get started, uh, I'm kind of warming up with a sample that Adam Dorman sent me. So it is uh, that he had a hand delivered to me, of course. So it's a sample of Wyoming whiskey, single barrel, 96 proof. Oh, that actually like zooms nice. Um, which I'm excited for. Nick and I have gone to Wyoming a few times. It's, you know, just north of here. And it's kind of fun. So, uh, and Nick really likes their standard Wyoming whiskey. It's a weeded bourbon, if you're not familiar with it. Um, and it's pretty good, but I always find, I think it's 88 proof for the standard. So it's a little like boring. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of a proof hound, I guess. So, but, um, but still it's like a nice sweetness and weeded bourbon sort of thing. So trying this out that Adam Dorman just, and I haven't tried it at all. I literally just poured it, but it smells really good. Um, if you haven't had Wyoming, it's kind of just like very much the definition, I think, of a, of a smooth bourbon. Oh man, look at all the awesome people who are here. Uh, Chris Tatz is here in Australia, and I think I saw Lil, yep, Lil's here. Uh, oh, and here's the man himself, Adam Dorman, who sent me this whiskey. So um, I'm trying out the, the Wyoming that you sent me, buddy. So thank you so much. Uh, for some of the other people here, let me go ahead and say hi. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you, James Morgan, for being here to begin with, but also for, you know, also being a supporter of Bourbon Battalion. Bobby, he also goes live on Wednesdays. I feel kind of bad for overlapping, but he's very, very nice and supportive and uh, understands that I only do it once a month. So if you are new, um, also it's only my second stream, but if you are new, I only go once a month. So uh, this is an amazing description of Adam Dorman. Ah, no, that's what they mean by jumping around. Okay, now I'm getting it about the chat. Uh, he's a sample Santa, <laughs> so that's kind of Santa. Um, but then, yep, I even made my husband a wrench. So for those who don't know, this numbnuts over here, who is uh, Salacious B. Crumb from Star Wars, the little minion of Jabba the Hutt, if you don't know. Yeah, I married that guy, so lucky me. But <laughs> let me try out this. Oh, is Dana here? Yay, Dana's here. So Dana is in the awesome Facebook group, Women of Whiskey. She also happens to be married to Jeffrey Wack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even better, she's in this very cool Facebook group. Uh, and actually, I'm drinking out of our Glen right now. I got one of these Glens. So uh, if you are female and want to join the Facebook group, it's kind of nice. It's just like a way for females to enjoy bourbon, learn about bourbon, uh, but with other women, you know, and just feel more represented. It's easier to connect to, to people who are like you. <laughs> so simple as that. Um, and that link is in, there's a bunch of links, but I think it's the very bottom link uh, is in the description of this video. So if y'all want to check that out, or if your significant others or sisters or mothers or whoever uh, might want to try it, check it out, go there. So, ah, Jason's here. There's also the link to, I don't want to sit here and advertise the whole night, but he goes on at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, that's 7 p.m. my time, 
with the Black Bourbon family tonight, which I'm really excited for. I think they have a great channel. They're very cute together, Jason and Brandy, uh, husband and wife. So they're gonna be on Mash and Drum out right after me. So definitely go check it out. Okay, for real, I'm gonna try. Oh, it's just like really, oh, what I was saying before is that, am I hyper? I'm probably coming off very hyper. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I should probably like chill. But uh, at least on my hikes, I'm getting my energy out that way. So, but Wyoming, I always think of as just this very sweet, smooth, like without being overpoweringly sweet, it's just a very honestly smooth, sweet, just very round bourbon. Uh, it's a weeded bourbon, but it really doesn't n normally have like a lot of spice and spike kind of thing. So, um, but I haven't tried this version. Yeah, so we have all these different colored glens. That was Nick's idea to use them for this, to make it easier for y'all to kind of follow, you know, which one I'm, I'm drinking, which I thought was very clever. So he has his moments, but. And, but this single barrel Wyoming uh, does not disappoint. So thank you, Shay Long, <laughs> for the support. So, hey, hola, que tal? This is my, I don't actually know if W N L is Boricua, but knows the term, so I'm here for it. Um, the smooth is just really, the smooth, the smooth is really sweet. The smell is also really sweet. Um, there's, there's not really oak or spice coming off. It's a whole lot of honey, very much honey, like maybe a little bit of vanilla caramel, but mostly honey, but not really any oak or baking spice or that kind of thing. Um, oh, thank you, Whiskey Wiggle, for popping that down into the chat. Uh, so yeah, that's that Facebook group I was talking about for women of whiskeys, and you can get yourself a cool Glen. I don't know if she's out, but maybe. <laughs> so look at that, my boy. <laughs> Nick Perlman was actually useful. Ah, I jumped. I'm sorry if I just yelled into the mic. I didn't mean to do that. Um. <laughs> I should stop smelling and start tasting. Oh, that's weird. Not weird in a bad way. Just not quite what I expected. So it is still quite sweet. Um, it just has... <laughs> I've never tasted so much honey on a whiskey before. You know, honey is always kind of one of the potential versions of sweetness that um, my brother is texting me. Today's my brother's birthday, single de mayo. Um, but, uh, you know, like honey is always one of those that you can, oh, I don't know how to take it off. Oh, there we go. Um, but this one, like really at the back of the palate, it's not just, you know, the front of the palate where you normally get the sweetness. It's like hitting in the back of the palate the way. So I personally don't actually like honey, like straight up honey on the on on the things on you know toast or something so <laughs> matt saying hi to my brother thanks so ah okay sorry uh, my brother's name is antonio everybody it's his birthday not that he doesn't even know i have this channel so. it's not like he's watching um so yay fellow body in the house by i have i need to not yell into the microphone feel free to yell at me in there if i'm yelling but I do have family from Bayamon and Caguas. Um, and actually, that leads me to my next thing, is that next, most likely this weekend, I won't be posting a new video, and next week I'm going to be out of town because I'm going home to Puerto Rico to visit my family, to visit my dad. I haven't seen my dad in four years, and my abuela even longer. Uh, so I'm very, very excited. I'm a little bit emotional about it, but super, super excited. So, But I, you won't be probably seeing me in the chats or posting a video or anything. So, um, but I'm, I'm super excited for the, for the trip, obviously. Um, I'm shimmying more about Puerto Rico than the whiskey, but actually this is good. The honey is just such a powerful, strong note. Normally honey is just like one of the many complex flavor. I've never had it so predominant. So if you really like honey, uh, I think a Wyoming single barrel might be the one for you. And I didn't look up like any more details about this. That's pretty much what I know about this whiskey. 
96 proof. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that is some crazy, crazy honey. So while I'm drinking this, I know the chat's going to be, um, uh, a little bit behind, but, um, what are you, if, if you guys are drinking yet or what have you, depending on your time zone, or if you just don't like drinking on Wednesdays, which is fair. Um, what are you guys drinking in the chat? And guys to me refers to both male, female, non-binary, et cetera. So, uh, whiskey wiggle, I could say so many things, but I'm not gonna. So, um, he says that his wife calls him honey. <laughs> Seem to be left. Yes. If you watch my videos of something I really, really like, you will see a true whiskey shimmy. Uh, but I saw something interesting. So Bourbon Bites was saying that he gets uh, a honey note on E.H. Taylor. So I just got my first E.H. Taylor recently, actually. Uh, E.H. Taylor. Uh, let me see what uh, single barrel, each Taylor single barrel. And honestly, it's just like, it was so surprising to me how much I like it. Uh, I didn't, it, I certainly don't notice that honey as strongly as I do here. I think it's more one of those, you know, kind of the way honey can blend in with other flavors and be contributing to the sweetness. But the honey on this, if you really like honey, I mean, it's, it lingers like right here on the back of the tongue. So like, as in that it's still there. So, uh, oh, we got wild turkey one. Oh, of course, margaritas. That makes sense. So, yeah, I should have gotten some limes for afterwards. Uh, I felt a little weird doing a stream on Cinco de Mayo because obviously it's kind of celebrated as a Mexican holiday, though Mexico doesn't really celebrate it uh, from what I understand. But I am not actually Mexican and I didn't want it to seem like this was good. Anyways, I didn't want to seem like it was going to be a themed stream, but I am trying to stream on the first Wednesday of every month uh, for if, in case, in fact, yeah, look at me learning how to use the things. So um, yeah, so I'm trying to do my live streams on the first Wednesday of the month, basically an hour before Mash and Drum, just happens to be single de Mayo, also my brother's birthday, also a great excuse to have margaritas. Uh, so I got, uh, so I see, margaritas. I see Wild Turkey 101 in the chat. Uh, I see that Whiskey Wiggles called honey. And somebody's, oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. So my fellow Boricua, Boricua, by the way, if you don't know, is a term for Puerto Ricans. It's like, uh, not a, not a bad term, like, a, a just a term we call ourselves. It's comes from back when there, when it was a Taino Island, the native Americans there. There, there was a King Borinquen, and that's why we're Boricuas. It's a whole thing. I have a football jersey uh, because we're Panthers fans that actually has Boricua on the back that my husband got for me. So it's pretty cool. I'm not Mexican. Somebody kicked Nick out of the chat. I know he's a wrench. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, this is really honey. Okay, so we're about 15 minutes in, and I want to get into these. I'm going to finish this sucker off. Sorry if I just swallowed right into the microphone. That is a bizarre bourbon. It's good. It's just bizarre. It's very much a dessert bourbon. I like most, and including weeded, I feel like normally I get much more baking spice kind of thing out of them. This is very smooth and very, like I mean, smooth as in, but just all honey. I got no other tasting notes for you because that honey just like takes over. But I mean, not in a bad way. It's just I'm not a huge honey person in real life. I'm repeating myself. So water break. Okay. Um, real quick. If you're in the chat, like and subscribe. I've still got my signs, but I've uh, I've upgraded my sign to have uh, a hand hold. Uh, I've done this in lab before to, so I could hold up signs to my boss. So this is just a, a, a test tube, a 15 mil conical tape to it. So, but also, so make sure you like, I can't see any of that on here. Um, but also I have a Patreon now. So I made a sign for that too. Uh, ooh, and I made, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I'm so on top of it. 
that was actually like hardcore last minute cramming, but easy. But yeah, if you want to support me, um, as of right now, I don't have like amazing perks or anything for you. My job does take a lot of my time, including evenings, lots of just being at home, reading papers, researching 24 seven. Um, but you know, I hope to just sort of gradually grow it. So Cliffy, Clifton, uh, ah, damn. Clifton, if you want a sign handmade by me, I can, I can hook you up. These are just high grade, high quality signs by Whiskey Mountains. You know, you can't get ones like this. So <laughs> Whiskey Wiggle actually almost sent me samples in a conical tube. So he sent me a few samples and I'm excited to try those when I get back from Puerto Rico. So um, that'll be super fun. <laughs> no, I can't kick Nick out. Um, we even married him. We about dumb. Uh, <laughs> all right, Clifton, you're getting some signs. Uh, I'm going to make a Cliffy has arrived sign. So if you haven't checked out Bourbon Bites, his link is also in my description. He's great. He was a huge push in me starting my own channel. Uh, and he's just awesome and has great reviews and also really great live streams with actual guests instead of just getting drunk on his own. And Nick is giving me a hard time. So how rude. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, if you join my Patreon, you could get your very own uh, high quality handmade sign. That's that's genius. Ah, that's your giveaway. Yeah, there it is. That's genius. So I can provide these. You're welcome. Look at that. Look at that handwriting. And the green. I can also get blue caps if you prefer blue. I've never seen other color. No, wait, I think I might have seen purple ones. I could steal purple ones from somebody. Um, <laughs> but anyways, so to the actual whiskeys. So uh, it's listed in the description, but the whiskeys that I'm trying tonight in my flight are, oh, I should, oh gosh, how do you remove it if, if you can't find it? In, oh, there it is. Okay. Um, yeah. Jen, you get one on the house obviously. Jen Artelino is awesome. Check out uh, Cheech Artelino's channel, Whiskey Encore. If somebody wants to drop that one in the chat too, that'd be good. Oh, yes. Whiskey Wiggle, you're the bomb. You dropped bourbon bites. I was just about to say that. So yeah, it might be a bit hard. Let me know when y'all are coming to Kentucky and I'll send it to somebody in Kentucky that could give it to you. Your, your, your personal homemade sign to say whatever you wanted to say. So I mean, some of them even have really amazing artwork. Look at that. I worked hard on that one. This is the same sign as I was used last time. I kept it. Ah, he hooked me up. I forgot to make a banner for this. So yeah, this is what we're gonna be drinking tonight. And I don't know which is in which glass, but we've got the new Bookers, the new ECBP A121, which in preparing for this, I realized I haven't done a review of it. I thought I had, and I have it. I've done regular Elijah Craig small bass. So again, when I get back from Puerto Rico, I need to do a review of uh, ECBP A121, and we might already be getting the B521 by that time, but maybe I can do a side-by-side -side or something. I don't know if y'all have heard about the, the B, so, uh, but I think it's going to be like 118 proof, which is a little low for Elijah Craig, but I don't want to be so much of a proof hound that I won't give it a chance and recognize something can taste yummy. So, ooh, Matt's trying, Matt, Jason is trying the um the the new stellum and i just saw them on whiskey crusaders they had them on live and um clifton just did an interview with will shragas from there from barrel who's in charge of the stellum project not in charge i don't know if that's the right term but kind of the the guy you talk to so anyways <laughs> shoot i took it away whiskey wiggle oh there it is okay so yeah i'm trying bookers the new bookers which i have done a review on uh, so check that out. And ECBP A121 Drums and Drams also done a review on the new bookers. It's probably better than mine. So also check out his. I think his link is in my description too. Um, but ECBP A121. And then Woodenville Castrain. Wait for it. Which is right there. That Joseph Brazo actually hand delivered to me. Um, and then of course, you know, you already know, if you know me at all, um, that uh, 
Knob Creek single barrel is going to be in there. So yeah, my dog just got scared of nothing. That's what she does. She's Pipple, but a very wussy one. And now Nick is trying to get her to come back. Um, she got scared, whatever. But yeah, so there you go. On Thursday, I think he's going to premiere that interview with Will Shragas. Uh, from Barrel about the new Stellum releases, which is kind of their more cost-effective one. Sorry, Hammy's trying to hit my computer and stuff. She's fine as long. She's fine. Um, she's pretty well behaved. But uh, yeah, so I don't know which one is which, but I did have Nick put. So I wrote the cards ahead of time because Nick has terrible handwriting. Uh, but that way, y'all could know which ones I'm drinking. So I'm going to start with blue oh let me um oh yeah like i said check out whiskey encore aka cheech artelino which we who we all know kind of thing so um oh, oh i think i missed somebody awesome in the chat i think that's why nick came to show me ah yes Oh, no way. Okay, so cool. So Shayla of Whiskey Central, who is awesome and has helped me with a few things, is uh, pouring along. So, oh, sorry, she's pouring samples for me because uh, I'm hoping I'm going to be on with her. She's kind of introducing bourbon drinkers to scotch. So um, that is super cool. And along with me, she's bringing, she's drinking my beloved daily, Knob Creek Nine. Thank you so much, Shayla, for being here and for the samples and for the future having me on your channel. Very, very cool. Um, so uh, I'm just going to click over in. Oh, Julie L's here. Thank you so much for, for being here. And Emily Chambers is, is here. I'm sorry I'm missing that. Yep, she's here. Cool. Hi, Emily. And hi, Julie. So thank y'all. Y'all are so awesome. Um, oh, yeah. And, and DC is telling you. I'm sorry. I need to just drink something already. But um, don't forget to like. <laughs> So like, and if you're not subscribed, I mean, come on, you look what you could miss out on. <laughs> so uh, Shayla says I'm professional. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that's totally true. All right. So I'm going to try the blue one and I'm going to close my eyes and show y'all. I'm, I'm hoping this works. So I, I wrote these ahead of time and you can look at the back. Nick actually marked it to say, and you can see my eyes are so close. I'm not looking. Um, because I know what I'm having. So, but uh, yeah. Um, if if I was shaking that card too much for y'all to see, just let me know. Ooh, now this one I'm digging. This has got, oh, I feel so short in this chair. I'm sitting on a cushion, like, yeah. I'm, I'm short. Um, I don't think Mr. Whiskey Shits is, is able to be here yet, but uh, we got to meet him yesterday, and he can tell you how short I am. So, bourbon, it says it's supposed to be arriving today. Um, so, if I get a knock on the door, that'll be my hand delivery. Uh, but almost always, they're at least a day or two late. So, but it's it's still looking good on my tracking everything. I like this one. This one's got like a nice caramel spite but like a lot of oak like i'm getting kind of oak hmm that yeah. i keep i'm sorry if i just highlighted um the wrong thing i totally did jen said something funny there it was she feels my short girl oh i like this i'm getting like a nuttiness and like oak and caramel like a a nice oaky spice to it. None of these are crazy old. So y'all, I just got Elijah Craig 18. I got Nick got us, but I feel like me <laughs> Elijah Craig 18 yesterday. I like, I think I just really like oak. And that's like really what I'm picking out of here. But this really, hmm, almost like a fruitiness. There's like a lightness to it too with the sweetness. Because, you know, this means lightness. I don't know, it also looks like, like a big wrestler or something, but same thing. Ooh, is that proofy? Proof. Uh, all of a sudden I'm in 
the moment deciding whether or not I can cuss on my own channel. I just decided I can. It's a proofy bitch. Um, I apologize if that offends anybody. I'm having to like prevent the cussing from at work all the time. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Wow. There's a lot of spice right at the back of the palette. And it's got some nice proof to it. And just like, I can still taste the finish. This finish is just, mmm. Mmm. Oh, Will Hendo's here. Hey, Will. Hi, Hendo. Thanks for being here. And he's on his phone, so he can't tag all of y'all. But you know he loves you. Um, but very cool. It's always really cool to see people who, like, you know, you kind of think of as big on other people's channels. And then it's like, why are you, like, hanging out watching this shit show? So um, it's, it's very, very cool and <laughs> great to see y'all here. Old Man Joe's here. What's up, OMJ? Okay. Mm. Mm. I dig this one. Okay, now I'm going to try the clear. Oh, is this a weird order for y'all? I'm sorry that I'm going backwards for y'all, I think. Consider yourselves Arabic today. Okay. So um, I'm trying to... Okay, I'm going to show y'all the card. I'm only going to do this on the first round. Um, it says clear. That's the clear glass. So, um, but yeah, I'm only going to do this for the first round. Uh, and then it's just going to be a surprise to everybody who is late or didn't take notes. <laughs> I don't know why you would take notes unless you're weird like me. Hmm. Am I just going to get fruitiness on everything today? Because that's weird. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm deep thinking. Ooh. Oh, that smells really good. Yeah. Emily Chambers is like one of the hugest supporters on Wiz. It's like her and Rizzy Z are like just the most amazing people on Whiskey Tube. It's ridiculous. Uh, you, you're just great. Oh, man. So this one's kind of neat. It's got kind of um, like an earthiness to it. And like, oh. I have a guess of what this is, but I'm not going to try and guess or hit the mic. Um, yes, Jen. Yes, fellow note taker. Yes. I like to use black and blue pens and I kind of color code in that way because um, highlighters can get like overwhelming to me, but I'm with you. I'm very much with you. And I have a notebook for everything. So anyways. Ooh. Hendo, I am under four foot ten. You're huge. Not in any kind of insulting way, but you're huge. <laughs> oh, this smells really okay. Stop smelling, start tasting. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yes. Sorry, I'm not giving great notes except for mmm, yes, mmm. That's great. I like it. That, that's what the, I'm sorry if I'm too much lip smacking. Um, now everybody's going to freaking flaunt how tall they are. Um, freaking DC rubbing it in that not only does he have amazing Photoshop powers, also he's six foot three. It's just not fair. So, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> are you clippy right now already? Uh, I think I, mm, Nick, you, baby size is the most revolting thing on the planet. I'm so sorry if y'all like it. It's possible my bottle is corked. I'm trying to give that caveat for how to excuse my very deep hatred of, um, freaking baby size, but it's disgusting. It just smells honestly like moldy horse poop. Yay. Ken Shore too. Sorry, sorry, I'm just reading chat now, but this is really good. That's what you need to know. It's got like a nice, like a dry nuttiness, which maybe is not for everybody, but I dig it. 
and just this. Mm. Mm. Oh, this one's good. I think I know what it is. I'm not trying to be, but oh, it's kind of yummy. <laughs> there he is. Yep. As soon as I met him in person for the first time yesterday, I was like, hey, we're real. And yes, I am this short. <laughs> I think it's a very noticeable thing when somebody first meets me. So, so, oh, yay, we got like a, a newer person. Oh, at Whiskey Weekend, you're watching my channel? That's crazy. <laughs> but thank you, thank you so much. Um, I have fun with the channel. I'm truly just doing it for fun. It gets me out hiking. Mm. Oh, it, I know people probably don't like this note, but it's got this like dry nuttiness that kind of blends with like an earthiness. But oh, it's good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, <laughs> uh, this is not true. Pretty sure it makes everything harder. At least when it comes to just like running next to normal sized people, like I take like four steps to y'all's one. I was in marching band for one year in, in high school. And that was a big mistake because I can't do some of the step sizes that you're supposed to do because I'm too short. So it's just like me jumping across the field. So, <laughs> and Don Nishida coming in just to really, Give me a hard time. Dang it. And it's gone. Now I'm starting to understand this whole that the jump that the jump chats. Mm hmm Good, good. You haven't even drank that much yet, Adriana. If I call myself Christina, it's because that's what I call myself at work. Well, anyways, Don Nishida said Oh no, sorry, it wasn't Don. It was oh, it was the guy who just found my channel while in at Whiskey Weekend, which is nuts. But you were a whiskey weekend. Um yeah, <laughs> that's why I go to mountains so that I can understand what it's like to be tall. <laughs> so I actually just started a new job in a new lab and they asked me like things to order for the lab and I ordered a footstool, like a foldable two step footstool because I can't reach the lowest shelf above my, my lab bench. Why do you people design it this way? Anyways, I'm about to drink red. So I'm, I'm gonna close my eyes. This is what it is. I'm trying not to shake. So again, that's red. You can see my eyes are closed. So, um, but yeah. Okay. Well, don't drop anything. All right. So, and I'm going to drink water first. I'm drinking water out of a favorite Hamilton glass. When you're a geek, you're a geek about a lot of things, I think. So Star Trek, Hamilton, anything Lynn manuel Miranda, honestly, the new in the Heights movies coming out soon. I don't, does anybody else listen or enjoy Hamilton or in the Heights? Hamilton more likely probably, um, but Lynn is a, Lynn manuel Miranda, you've probably heard of him. He wrote that, he wrote the music for Moana. Anyways, he's Puerto Rican and he's great and I adore him. And so he's on the list of people that my husband knows, like, you know, I can, I can leave him for, so it's okay. But also, I wouldn't want to because his wife is awesome, too. So I just want to be friends with them. Hey, Karina's here. So this is my best friend, Kareen. Uh, she was here last time. And I think I made her a wrench. I can't tell in here. But uh, Carolina Whiskey Girl is her, or sorry, Karen, as other people call her. But Carolina Whiskey Girl is her Instagram. You should totally go check her out. She's awesome. Obviously, she's my best friend. So cool, 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 cool. And I need to email her back. <laughs> um, also, Kareen, did you? Oh, that smells weird. Whoa. Did you put rye? What the? That smells like rye. I am insanely suspicious. Yes, yes, yes. Matt Junak is actually reminding me to do my own job. Um, like and subscribe. And enjoy my signs and uh, become a Patreon. And the one perk I could possibly provide you is, y'all, I just got confused which 
the hand was holding which side. <laughs> I'm a PhD. Um, the one perk I could possibly provide you is handmade signs taped to conicals. So, you know, you want to support me for that. Uh, but honestly, also, like, I use my phone as my camera. So I'm kind of hoping to save up for, like, a legit camera because I keep getting annoyed by the quality. Uh, but also, this, no, wait a second. I think I know what this is, too. Deep thoughts. So this has like a really wry nose, but also like kind of um, almost like a, like the fizzy of a Coke. Um, yeah, but anyways, like, so what? No, don't make me more popular than the bourbon wrench. Not possible, A. B, he's actually helping me out with a new logo because my logo is not so great. It's me not being very good at any sort of like Photoshop. So yeah, uh, but so he's actually gonna help me out with a new logo. So I'm really excited. I actually wrote down things to say. I'm gonna be in Puerto Rico next week, so no video, but Travis helping me out with a new logo and I'm really, really stoked for that. So uh, and like and subscribe. I've got a Patreon now, you can support me there and now get your own hand handmade sign. Um, so uh, apparently Jason Mash and Jim has a really good, um, a really fun mom. My mom's also actually really fun. So yay, fun moms. Um, so, oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. Wait. Anyways, so Don uh, Lynn was in the last Star Wars episode, and I did not know ahead of time. We went inside opening night. Nick is a Star Wars fan. I'm a Star Trek fan. I'm totally getting off topic. But um, immediately, like, it's just like a half a second that you see him at the end scene and the celebration scene. It's Star Wars. If you haven't seen it, I'm sorry. Uh, there's a celebration at the end. Big shocker of the final movie. Um, Lynn's back there in like a rebel uniform kind of thing. Uh, and I turned to Nick and I was like, was that Lynn? And then when we saw it again, because obviously we saw it multiple times in theaters, I confirmed to myself it was Lynn. And then later online, it was confirmed. Yes, he was because he wrote some of the music. He wrote the new Cantina song for Star Wars. And he wrote like one of the visiting cultures that they visited their song. Anyways, that's enough Lynn trivia for all of you tonight. I'm sure you really, really wanted to know. Somebody asked me... And it's funny because they think whiskey knows. Uh, uh, oh, whiskey wiggle. I can't kick you out. You're a wrench, I think. Um, anyways, I think whiskey knows asked me whether I like the Woodenville behind me. I think that's actually what I'm drinking, about to drink. Because I had it recently and it's one of these, it gives me this like sort of RC Cola sort of thing going on at the beginning. And like, uh, anyway, let me actually drink it and then I'll tell you. How about that? It's at the end. It's at the end. Oh. Hey. Okay. Go on here. Oh, shit. Is, is W. O'Neill here to call me out for Conio? Um, okay, I'm just putting one up real quick. So that I can get rid of the, that one. Okay, cool. It's just like, I like it a lot at the beginning. It's got this like nice sweetness and uh, like this kind of funny, it was funny. If you watch my face during that, it was very much of um, the, I'm gonna come back to this, so I'm putting it up. But um, of like me experiencing the flavors of like, yep, there's that cola note. Like at first it's got like just, an interesting bourbon thing going on. I'm not very familiar with craft whiskeys, so I wonder if that's sort of the craft note that people are talking about. The, excuse me. The kind of interesting notes I'm getting here. But then it comes into this like sort of cola type of fizz, like RC cola. Um, but the problem is on the finish, as soon as I swallow, it just hits the back of the throat like you just had a high rye rye. And from what I understand, if it's what I think it is, which forget what else is in here. I don't think it could be anything else. Yeah, I think it's Woodenville. And I think that's got like a 20% or 22% rye level, which is fairly high compared to your most common bourbons. Um, so yeah, that one is 
Ah, it's so weird and it smells really right on the nose. It just throws me. And I don't know what, it's not like I'm getting mint. It's not like I'm getting maybe some herbal. I think that's kind of leaning me towards that rye. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of realizing like, oh yeah, I, I set this up for a reason. There's, those are the what I'm drinking, not in this order, but it has a rye profile, and a, but yet on the palate, it, it's nice and just very interesting and, and unique, I would say, and this cool cola taste, but then in the end, There it is. There it is. Woo! That rye. That rye will hit you. I think though, Woodenville. So I think I wrote it. So I'm gonna. If if it is Woodenville, I could be completely wrong, and then I'm just an idiot. But if it is, I think it's 119 proof. What time are we at? 6:40. Need to go. Oh, Mr. Whiskey shits. If you don't know, I'm a Trekkie. A B. Star Trek Day is on September 8th which is also my birthday. I was born to be a Trekkie. Okay, last one is green, which is this. Okay, I have two guesses so far on what we've had. Um, I didn't really mean to guess, but I felt like the red one was wooden belt, clearly. Um, so, ooh, I do love some rare breed. Sorry. Uh, and I think the clear one might have been my baby. Knob Creek, single barrel. But I'm sorry, that rye is lingering. I'll tell you, the wooden bell has a long finish. Wow, I just went southern there. I grew up in South Carolina, y'all. So you'll get that. My Both of my parents were born and raised in Puerto Rico, came to the States as adults. But I was born here in the States and then had an um, American stepfather. So... I'm so very close to both of my parents. Hence, I'm visiting my dad in Puerto Rico next week, and there will be no video this upcoming weekend because of that, most likely. So, um, and don't forget that right after this, Mash and Jump's coming on. The link to the live stream is in the description uh, with Black Bourbon family, who I think are great. So I'm very excited that they're being highlighted on his channel. Okay, so on this one, Smell yourself if you need a reset. You probably know that, but in case you don't. Also, baby dust. Like and subscribe. That's totally a song. I'm totally not a singer. Woo, the high proofs are hitting. It, it, so I had a very small and early lunch, which is probably contributing to that hitting. Oh no, there's pixel. Oh, there's nothing I can do to help. My internet can come in and out sometimes. That happens to me all the time when I'm joining others' live streams. Let me know if it it does come back. I hope it does. So, um, no, not seven of nine whiskey wiggle. So it is September eighth. I think it's the first, the date that the first episode aired. So, um, but I'm hoping my internet is coming back. So unfortunately, on Max. I have a Mac through work. There's no thing, so you can plug in the Ethernet cord. So. Okay, let me try this. I get like a kind of a grassy note. Mostly a grassy note and like a little bit of sweetness, but. <laughs> Oh, good, good, good. It's back. So, yay, I spoke a, a clear picture into existence. I figured with patience, you know, patience will out or something like that. I've been listening to a lot of Agatha Christie. Um, yes, they're great. You can forgive them for being Purdue. I don't really have any feelings on Purdue. That's not one. College team, Clemson's the only team I hate um, as far as college teams, as I was a Gamecock before I was a Ute. And does Utah have a nemesis? Are we good enough to have a nemesis? I don't really think so. Not that Gamecocks have been that great in the past few years. I know. I know this. Yeah, I just mostly get this like grassy note with just a touch vanilla. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm not showing that freaking whiskey wiggle. So that's interesting. So I like it at the front of the palette much more than at the end. And of course, the end is what's lingering. But it, but it does have like a bit of a, um, uh, how dare you, Matt Jones, for being late. I cannot forgive you for this. Just kidding. Uh, I actually had a friend in high school named Matt Jones. So uh, you don't look like you were him. But, um, sorry. It has like a, yeah, I'm just getting grassy on the note. This like weird earthy grassy. Hmm. Deep thoughts, deep thoughts. This is me all day at work, deep thoughts. There's a lot of spice coming off of this one. I don't, it almost feels like it's the highest proof. It's hitting me like it's the highest proof. It's 646, so I need to start just kind of going back and forth. This one's interesting. This one's like kind of a funny mix. Um, so, um, yeah. Oh, this one smells really good. This one has just like a really nice, like a thick caramel with a bit of spice in the nose. Granted, it's coming after all of these, but then now it's like falling a little bit flat. It's not hitting as high proof as I thought it would. I'm not reminding you of what these are, so the sort of the end is kind of a reveal. So if you're at the beginning, as I went through all the way, that's your perk. You got to know what each one was. Uh, otherwise, you don't get to know, because um, I don't get to know. Oh, oh my gosh. My, I think the proof, I think this is lingering, honestly. No worries, Shayla, you do you. You do what you gotta do, boo. If I call you brew, by the way, that's my version of boo. I think it's better than boo, because it's like pro mixed with boo, mixed with like brew is in a beer or a tea, I guess, but anyways. Just, and I think it's because of the flight, it's kind of hitting a little bit flat on the palette now. I still like it though. It's got nice, really nice, just bourbon notes. I'm getting like caramel and oak. Not a lot of spice, not a lot of like sticking out edges, but it does have actually just a nice profile. Uh, I really think this one kind of threw me for a loop. Oh my God, this smells amazing. Mm. Shut up, that smells fucking amazing. Oh, wow, this one has opened up so nicely. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> and I haven't even, uh, I mean, I've tasted it, but not again. Okay. I am Boricua. Okay, we get very passionate and excited about things and hit things and maybe yell. So, um, but, ooh, this is good. Mm. This is me trying to hurry. Ooh, uh, I know, I know, I know, I know who you are. I'm pretty sure I know who you are. If you're not who I think you are, I'm gonna feel a bit, a bit betrayed by myself. Um, yes! Wepa! <laughs> oh, I'm going to be saying that so much next week. So I am excited. Anyways, sorry. Um, okay. Ah, oh, man, my tongue is on fire. Oh, yeah, I know who you are. Mm-hmm. Mm Oh, there you are. There you are. There's the rag. Ah, it's like I kept it on my tongue for so long. 
because coño because I knew that I don't like the finish. Ah. <laughs> oh my God, or do we have a bunch of Boricuas in the chat? Oh, so excited. This is kind of why I started a channel because it's like, you don't really see a lot of Hispanics in the whiskey tube world. Um, woo! Mm. Boricua, pero de donde? So he's asking where I'm from. So I was born actually in the States in South Carolina. My family is from Caguas y Bayamón. I don't speak fluently. Unfortunately, I wasn't actually allowed to speak Spanish growing up. I grew up in South Carolina. Not a great place to grow up. But um, yeah, especially if you're Hispanic. But um, so I don't speak fluently. But I'm going back. Uh, and I, I used to go a lot of summers growing up. And I miss it greatly. And I'm going next week. And I'm so, so excited. So I can't even tell y'all. Uh, do I hear Celia in the background? I'm kind of a Mark Anthony girl, I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, but yeah, um, yay! It is a very cool. That's so great. Uh, I'm very excited. Sorry. So I love you. <laughs> like I said, I'm very, very honest, very expressive. Uh, you're gonna get what you're, you know, the honest truth with me. So we are eight minutes away from. Um, let me see. Let me see. Mashing your drum, being on with Black Bourbon family. Both those links are in the chat, the, the link to the live stream and the link to um, um, Black Bourbon family's channel. So totally go subscribe. They're like, they're really great. I really enjoy them. So anyway, I am not highlighting that chat schlong, Lord Shane Long. So uh, Yes, you already know. You already know. I say coño for everything. Coño, carajo. You know, shit's going down. But yes. And it's great because if you're at work and you're not supposed to cuss, you can. Because it doesn't mean anything to anybody. Yes. So, and Nick is kind of reminding me. Well, I can't find it. Trav is here. Yay. I saw him. Come on. Trav, I mentioned you earlier. He's man. His link is also in the chat. Uh, though granted, if you're here, you've probably heard of him. Oh my God, there's 66 people watching. That's insane. Don't forget to, uh, th no, this one, like and subscribe. And also, if you want to support me and potentially even get your very own handmade sign, because that's about as much as I can promise right now. Um, oops, sorry. Patreon.com slash Whiskey Mountains. Link is also in the chat. Um, if you don't know. I do Alzheimer's research and my job just takes a lot of my time. So this is really truly for fun. I appreciate any support I can. You don't actually get paid very much, especially if you're a brand new PhD researcher. So any little bit will just help with gas going to those hikes, possibly a, uh, <laughs> 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 um, sorry. Uh, Any support will go to gas, potentially a camera in the future instead of my phone. <laughs> you know when you get drunk and you think that you're way more fluent than you actually are? That's true. Okay, we've got six minutes. I need to decide on an order. I know Nick is already yelling at me in his head. <sighs> I think we already know who, anyways. This one's nice. I really dig this blue one, though. I'm not quite sure who you are. Pretty sure about you. Pretty sure about you. Not so sure about you. Uh, no. Whoops. Fun fact. Um, Lynn Manuel Miranda was also on Sesame Street. Just saying. Just throwing it out there. So, uh, I know, I know. Richie's like, rank him. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm kind of. Okay, I think I have my order. Okay, so in last place, and it's really truly because of the finish, the, the whole palette is just really interesting to me and I enjoy it. So I think my dog just came out again. Um, is, oh! I'm holding it up to y'all instead of myself, um, is Wooden Bell. 
So this is the one Brazo sent me. I it's like such an interesting one, and it's funny how much it's been changing as it goes. Um, uh oh, I have some explaining to do. That's not good. So yeah, support me. So oh, Peter Patriot. That's what I was gonna say. Was that on the twenty fourth? So once I come back from Puerto Rico, um, uh, on the twenty fourth, Monday the twenty fourth. I will be doing finished pizza on Whiskey Crusaders channel. Thank you. I finally got my samples. I was supposed to do it before the samples arrived late. So, um, so yeah. But anyways, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm all over the place. Wow. Um, and this is white diseases. Haven't been cured. So Woodenville Castrength, unfortunately, was in last place. It's just that strong rye finish that hits me at the end. So um, in... Third place is green. Oh, okay, okay. This is Elijah Craig A121. Um, I'm sorry, I feel like a dick for freaking putting that. Wait, what did I have up there? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, shit, shit, fuck, shit, fuck. Uh, um, Sorry, I thought I saw something funny, but I guess I didn't, so. Anyway, somebody said, I think O'Neill, W. O'Neill said something. Yes, that's what I wanted to post. I'm sorry. I know I only have three minutes left. Um, I'm so ready for In the Heights. Most mornings I play In the Heights as I, like, get my cafe con leche ready and, and everything kind of thing. Like, I I love In the Heights. If you don't know, it's, it's by Lynn about being in Washington Heights. About being Puerto Rican, but also like it's from technically Dominican's point of view. But you know, I'm sorry. This is a shit show. This is not organized or anything. Um, okay, so my second, I'm sorry, so sorry. My second place was Booker's. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Gonya, I knew it. So that means my first place. See, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. It's not my fault that I'm a Knob Creek fan. I just am a Knob Creek fan. So I I I love it. It's it's not my fault. This is just the standard 120 proof. This isn't like a store pick or something. I have an amazing store pick, thanks to somebody who is going on in two minutes. Oh my god. So um, but thank you so much. Oh, this stuff is so good. If you haven't tried Knob Creek Single Bar, like, I don't even know what you're waiting for. Um, Shayla, I feel like you and I need to be best friends, except that you're more of a Scotch person than a bourbon person, but that's okay. <laughs> Anybody who loves In the Heights knows all the songs. Like, Whiskey Wiggle, you're a note taker like me. I, I mean, you're a teacher. So I guess that does make sense. One of my other best friends is also a, uh, a high school science teacher. So um, nobody's surprised by these results. So not Greg Single Bar One. It's a uh, brother of Jim Beam. Booker's was in second place. Third place was ECBP, which I did not fully on recognize. And then last place was Woodenville probably because that rye just keeps coming back and hitting me. And if you haven't checked it out, I have a, I'm just going to toot my own horn. I have a great um, five rise video that Drums and Dram uh, nominated me for. So thanks for joining me again. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe. And if you want, you can support, no wait, you can support me on here. Maybe get your own amazing high quality handmade sign. Um, and go over to Mash and Drum. He's about to have an awesome thing with the Black Bourbon family, Jason and Brandy, and they're great. So, um, yeah. And if you don't want to do Patreon regularly, but just want to, like, give something once, uh, PayPal and Venmo are also in the chat. I'm not trying to, but, you know. So, <laughs> uh, so, oh, get on it, Bourbon Ranch. Good luck with it, because it's rice, so me. Uh, but it has been fun. And I don't think, whoop, I don't think this is going to happen. So, but you can keep hoping, DC. Miracles may happen. Thanks so much, Jim Morris, fellow Trekkie with me. 
uh, we do something. To, there's a whiskey discord in the chat. Scotch Down Under does a thing, but it is seven o'clock. Mash and Drum is starting. So why are you still here? Go check them out. The link directly to the live stream is, I think, the first shit, the first link in the description. So again, next week, I'll be out of town. Puerto Rico. I'm so excited. So um, like and subscribe. I do live streams on the first of the month. Uh, what else was I going to say? I'm going to be on Whiskey Crusaders on the 24th. Yes, I have a note for myself. I'm extremely forgetful. Mash and drum and Travis hooking me up and helping me out with a much better logo than what I currently have. Thank you all so much. Uh, where's my winner? You already know who it was. Not Creek Single Barrel. Salud.